just came to the top of, we're on the rooftop terrace of the Hotel Colonial in downtown or like the historic center of Puebla. People downstairs who work here were gracious, we're not staying here, but they were gracious enough to let us up here because there are some seriously cool photo opportunities of this, of this um, church here. And I don't know if you can see, but the mountain all the way in the background. Um, I forget the name of it right now, but that's a big mountain. And on the other side of the building is a volcano. You're really not gonna be able to see with this lens in, in this lighting. Just super nice to let us come up here and take some pictures. So other than that, we've just been walking around and exploring downtown Puebla, um, going through the areas that we haven't seen yet. And we just wanted to stop up here and just get a view of the city. see it or not, but that right there is the volcano. I'll have some much better pictures. Pretty cool. <laughs> Left the rooftop of Hotel Colonial doing a little bit of walking around we just uh there's a whole street here which is dedicated to like sweets and candies and so we went and checked that out um and now we're just heading down to a place called cafe celia which is um just a little cafe uh downtown pueblo and they're supposed to have really good mole poblano which is kind of the thing to eat when you're in puebla it's like puebla's mole really um so that's where we're heading now Otherwise, it's just a pretty chill day here in Puebla. Kind of an interesting side note too, but like outside of the market that we were at this morning, I bought um, like, like I was, you can get anything out there. There's vendors selling anything. It's not just food, right? So there was a guy selling just like miscellaneous things and he had these packs of batteries, four packs of AA batteries for 10 pesos, which is about 50 cents US. And my microphone runs off of AA batteries. I was like, oh yeah, I need some batteries. <laughs> and in about, I've been using them for like, I don't know, four hours. And in about five minutes, the second round of the AA batteries from that guy are going to be dead. Basically, all four of those batteries died in like four hours. They actually like, they actually like felt crappy. You get what you pay for. Um, the other thing too is how crazy it feels, uh, how different this place feels than Oaxaca. Oaxaca really had a laid back colonial type of feeling to it, especially in the old, in the old part of Oaxaca. But, this city is very, very different. It feels a lot more ritzy. It's a really big shopping city. There's um, big department stores here. And there's also just high-end boutique shopping. It just has a more, almost like a more ritzy vibe to it, even though it's really not ritzy at all. It's still a really beautiful colonial uh, old Spanish town, but such a different feeling than Oaxaca. I mean, we're only four hours away, but it is an entirely different state, right? We're in the state of Puebla, so it's really cool to see that dichotomy between the two cities and the two states. down and see this cafe so this place is really cool it's a really quirky place that's kind of there's a back patio area that's fairly tucked away from the street and it's really quiet um, menu is full of just classics like classic Oaxaca um, classic Puebla dishes but also like your standard stuff too like salad and soups and so this is tamales with mole poblano on it 
Very, very similar to Mole Negro. It's almost more chocolatey than Mole Negro and less bitter. It's more sweet, more savory. It's also covered in sesame seeds, which is kind of interesting. And they do actually add a little bit to the flavor. You can taste the sesame seeds. It's so good. So these are all the local ceramics that they sell. Um, this is really common to the area, and you see these kind of everywhere in Puebla, and this is what they serve their meals on, but this is also, you can also, I think, purchase them from here too. You kind of walk through and it leads out to this back patio area, which is where um, it's covered, but you can see it still feels like you're outside. Um, So as you can probably surmise, that meal was awesome. And like I was saying, mole poblano is mole that's specific to Puebla, which is a little bit different than mole negro. And that place was absolutely awesome. If you're in Puebla and you want like a good meal at a really cool place, definitely recommend Celia's Cafe. I can put a link below too about it and everything. So behind me in a completely empty square, um, this is the uh, Catedral de Puebla, which is a 16th century cathedral that was obviously built by the Spanish um, during their occupation of Mexico. And it adjoins the main square, or the Zacala, which is right over there. Um, and these bells go off all day. You can hear it from all over the city. But if you see over there where all those trees are, so that's what I was just talking about. Like, that's the main square. And then this beautiful cathedral sits right next to it. Um, and you can go inside and you can tour it. Um, one of the things that I love so much about old Spanish colonial towns are their A, their cathedrals, and B, their town squares. Every it seems that like every place has their has their main square and a big cathedral right next to it. And it's so cool. You know, it's awesome to see this stuff. plan for tomorrow. Um, we're actually going to be leaving Puebla uh, to go to a small town located in Puebla State. I'll keep it a secret for now, but we're going to get out of the city, see a little bit of the Puebla countryside um, and small town life in the state of Puebla, Mexico. So um, that's it for today and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.